photosynthesis. Experiment 5 Objective To demonstrate the effect of different carbon dioxide concentrations on the rate of photosynthesis. Materials required Beakers Funnels Glass rod Test tubes Pipette Graduated 10 ml Sodium bicarbonate and fresh twigs of hydrilla. Procedure Take a known amount of actively photosynthesizing hydrilla plants in a beaker containing 0.05% of sodium bicarbonate solution. The amount of hydrilla plants taken must be kept constant throughout the experiment. Keep a funnel inverted over the plants. Keep plants in such a way that all the cut ends of the twigs face upwards. Keep a test tube full of water inverted on the funnel. Keep the experimental setup in light and count the number of air bubbles evolved in each minute for 10 minutes. Record the results in observation table. Repeat the procedure with 0.1%. 0.15%, 0.20% and 0.25% solutions of sodium bicarbonate in the beaker. Count the air bubbles evolved for 0.5%, 0.1%, 0.15%, 0.20% and 0.25% solutions. The volumes of the solutions taken should be same for all the strengths of the solutions. Plot a graph between number of oxygen bubbles evolved per minute from hydrilla plants for different concentrations of CO2. Observations 1. The rate of evolution of bubbles varies with concentration. 2. Record the observations in table as given. Table. Number of bubbles evolved per minute with the increasing quantity of sodium bicarbonate. Concentration of NaHCO3 solution. Percentage. Number of air bubbles evolved per minute. Trials. Average. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 0 0.05, 0 0.10, 0 0.15, 0 0.20, 0 0.25. Graph is plotted between the concentration of sodium bicarbonate and number of oxygen bubbles evolved per minute as shown. Result An increase in CO2 concentration increases the rate of photosynthesis. Added NaHCO3 dissociates to produce CO2 thus increasing the concentration of CO2 in water. As the amount of CO2 available for hydrilla increases, the rate of photosynthesis increases, thus evolving more of O2 bubbles. Continuous increase in CO2 concentration slows down the rate of photosynthesis from rising above a certain level due to the reason that the other factors such as light or chlorophyll become limiting factors. Precautions 1. Fresh hydrilla twigs should be used. 2. The twigs should be cut obliquely to get maximum surface area for the release of O2. 3. Fresh solution of sodium bicarbonate should be prepared. 4. The test tube should be filled with water. 5. There should not be variation in light intensity.